All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the first match with Fr well, look at that. We have experimental frenzy in our hand. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. Um, it's not super fast, but man, experimental frenzy. Basically, any hand with experimental frenzy is keepable. But opponent played Paluta Delta, got Hallowed Fountain, so we might be playing against control. So, oh, Mausoleum. Wait, does Bant Spirits usually play Paluta Delta though? I don't know. That's weird. But it looks like we're playing Spirits. We draw Wall Scourge. That makes this hand quite a bit better. So we will play Ornithopter. We will play Wall Scourge. Pay two life. Go to 18 and we will pass. So we're going to be playing probably Steel Overseer turn two. Swamp. Swamp Mos Selfless Spirit. So it's Esper Spirits, I guess. That's kind of cool. Opponent attacks for two. That's fine. We will go to 16 and opponent passes. We draw another Vault Scourge. That's decent. We will play Steel Overseer. So they're probably going to have access to more removal in Esper. So I don't know if the Steel Overseer is going to stick. Path to Exile. Okay. We'll get an island. The good news is we're going to have mana for our Experimental Frenzy now. We now have four lands, so that's pretty good. Opponent attacks for one. We will take that. Opponent passes. We draw Signal Pest. Hmm. We could play Experimental Frenzy. It might be worth dumping our hand first. They do have blue. They could have counter spells. But I am going to play Signal Pest. Play Vault Scourge. Play Cranial Plating. This is exactly what we're doing. See, we're at the point where, as an Affinity player, we can attack for 1-2. Because we're going to play Experimental Frenzy. So we're going to refill the board. We're at the point where we're either going to win, because we just flooded the board. We have Cranial Plating. This is a winning hand if we weren't against Spirits with Flying Creatures. But if they wipe the board, we're going to play Experimental Frenzy. And we're going to rebuild. That's what Experimental Frenzy is doing. It's going to allow us to rebuild. Opponent does not attack. They leave their uh, lands on tap too. So I think instead we're just going to go for Master of Ethereum. But that's that's what Experimental Frenzy is. It's a backup plan. If our main, you know, affinity package still works, then that's great. Uh, we will equip uh, Volsk... Mm, maybe we should do probably Ornithopter. Equip Ornithopter with the Cranial Plating. I'd like to gain a life, but I think... Whatever has cranial plating is uh, be hit with a removal spell. But we will attack with all of these. Let's see if the Ornithopter lives. It just gets blocked. That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. So yeah, basically our main affinity aggro strategy is still what we're doing. Path to Exile. Okay. We will get a mountain. Alright. So their stuff still dies unless they sacrifice. No? Okay. So this is where it gets bad. Like if the opponent had... A way to kill cranial plating or just wipe the board. This is the point where we would lose in regular affinity. I love that my opponent. Yep, this is it. This is this is this is unwinnable right now. Lingering souls. Normally, this is an unwinnable position for affinity. We can't get through those lingering souls tokens, and they're going to put two more in play. So this is unwinnable. So let's play Vault Scourge. Now let's play Experimental Frenzy. Dark Steel Citadel. We'll play that. Signal Pest. We'll play that. Lightning Bolt, we cannot play. So next turn, we're just going to churn through our library. Hopefully we don't hit two lands in a row. That's the only thing that'll stop us. But yeah, this is perfect. We get to see it. Game one, game one, match one. We get to see this. Hopefully it lives. Hopefully they don't have an answer for the Experimental Frenzy. That would be bad. Hopefully we get to see this in action. Because again, this is unwinnable. We cannot win through Lingering Souls tokens with regular Affinity. It just, we lose. That's why Affinity is dying in the competitive scene. Yep. Lingering Souls flashed back. These 1-1 one, one tokens, we can't win through them. There's no way. The card disadvantage from attacking into them is just not good for us. But with Experimental Frenzy, we'll see if we win this game with just Experimental Frenzy. We're going to draw the Lightning Bolt. We can't cast it because we can't cast stuff from our hand. We have a Memnite. Um, do we attack first or do we attack? I think we go because we could hit a Cranial Plating. So we'll play Memnite. That's our first land. That's not great. We don't want to see that super early. But we will cast that. We will cast... Mimnite. <laughs> We're gonna hit all the Mimnites, I guess. Alright, cast Mimnite. There's a Galvanic Blast. Fantastic. We will blast a blocker. We'll blast that Wanderer. So that's gone. Vault Scourge. We'll cast that. This is great. This is exactly what we want to see. Steel Overseer. Yep, we'll cast that. Why not? Cast Steel Overseer. Ornithopter. We'll cast that for free. Spire of Industry. See, that's what, that's, that's what stops the chain is uh, lands. 
And that's why tier 1 affinity is better for this because of the mox opals. Because, you know, you have less chance of hitting lands because of opals. But, uh, let's just attack. We can attack straight into those tokens now. Normally, this card disadvantage would be too bad. Like, this would be bad for us now. It's fine. If they block all of our stuff, we'll just, we'll refill our board next turn. Yeah. See, this would be, this blocking situation right here, unwinnable. We can't lose that many cards in a normal game. Now it's fine. We just lost all of our stuff. We're going to refill our board next turn. We'll equip Wall Scourge. And now they need, a, even if they play another Lingering Souls, let's pretend they play another Lingering Souls right now. If they play Lingering Souls and if they could flash it back, we could just attack with uh, all the, uh, the Mem Knights and the Vault Scourge, put it plays up. And the Ornithopter, we put plus one, plus one counters on them. And then we have all of our mana to just, you know, who knows? Who knows what we're going to get off the top with, uh, with Experimental Frenzy. They do have a Lingering Souls. There we go. That's fine. Not a big deal. Double Lingering Souls, not winnable. Oh, two lands. Yikes. We don't want to start with a land. Steel Overseer, fantastic. We will play that. Steel Overseer in play. Yeah, see, that's, that's a bummer. Hitting lands like that, that's what's going to hurt us. But we'll put counters on everything. Let's just move this. This is kind of in the way. We're going to move it up here. Um, so that wasn't great. But still, we got through a land. We got Steel Overseer. So basically, we got a really good top deck. And that should basically happen every time. Opponent double blocks the... That's fine. The Vault Scourge. So their tokens are going to die. They're going to take a bunch of damage. Go to 6. We go to 30. We've got two Steel Overseers in play. Oh, I should have equipped the... Uh, I should have equipped the cranial plating. Uh, and this is feeling like we're going to win this, I think. On the back of Experimental Frenzy. Uh, so you guys can see, it's good. It's really good. It feels pretty good. Lingering Souls, that's fine. We should have just a ton of stuff, hopefully. So we're going to draw the mountain. And we'll see what we have on top. Shrapnel Blast. Well, that can probably just go straight to the face. Let's put a plus one, plus one counter on everything. Actually, I guess technically we should just sacrifice yeah we didn't have to do that that's fine i'm still learning with the deck we didn't need to do that but we'll sacrifice a land deal five there's a spire of industry so we'll play that signal pest we'll play that galvanic blast gonna win the game we'll deal four damage to them and that should be game right there phantom oh my god it's so good it's so good i love it i love it experimental frenzy I'm a fan. I'm officially a fan of Experimental Frenzy. We definitely want whip flares, that's for sure. We definitely want those for all those Lingering Souls tokens, just in case we don't get Experimental Frenzy. A uh, Signal Pest is bad against Lingering Souls, and but I think this is fine. All right, let's see what our hand looks like. This is acceptable. Two zero drops and a Steel Overseer is fine. We will keep. Put a place an island. Yeah, I wish we could play Mox Opals. That would make this so much better, but they're just too expensive. Mausoleum Wonder, that's fine. We draw four lands. Having four lands is not the worst in this deck. We typically want four. Not more than four, but four is nice. We'll play Midnight. We'll play Ornithopter. We will pass. Put a place Godless Shrine. Play Supreme Phantom. Hmm. I think we blow up the Mausoleum Wonder. So hopefully we can have a couple turns here where we can get a Steel Overs here. Point a sack. Okay. I mean, that's the same thing. I guess it feels better if they countered it, but you know, same thing. Same thing happens. Oh, draw another land. Well, I didn't want to draw that many lands. That's not so great. But we'll play Steel Overseer. So they don't have an answer for it. We can start adding counters and that would be good. That's why I blew up the uh, the Wanderer. Just to get a couple turns here. But if they have like a Fatal Push or a uh, Path to Exile. It's not super great. Opponent passes. Alright. Volt Scourge. Let's play Spire of Industry. We'll add black just to... Only pay one life instead of two for the Vault Scourge. We will add counters to everything. Go to combat. I don't think we attack. It's fine. They do have, they can't produce a token. Which it looks like they're going to do. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't want to start trading yet until I have Experimental Frenzy. Um, opponent plays a land and passes. Unless they want to attack for two flying, which is okay. No. Opponent cracks the flooded strand. Gets a planes. Path to Exile, okay. Well, we have plenty of lands. We will play, or we will get a, an island. Ornithopter, not so great without the Steel Lovers here. But we will play that, and I think we just pass. I think we just sit here and hope we can draw into an Experimental Frenzy. An Experimental Frenzy would be so good right now. It's not often you're playing Affinity when you're praying to draw into a 4-drop enchantment, but that's, that's the case. 4-drop enchantment could really use it right now. Uh, opponent passes. Springleaf Drum. See, this is 
This is why Affinity gets bad, is when you start top decking bad stuff. Being in top deck mode is not good with Affinity, and you find yourself there a whole lot. So we're just gonna pass. Opponent plays a Swamp. And passes. Ugh, another land, wow. I mean, we only have 20 in the deck, we've drawn 6. Or we've drawn 5. So pass the turn. Actually, we have drawn 6, we have 1 in hand. We've drawn 6, we have 7 lands out of 20 in play. Opponent plays Rattle Chains. Selfless Spirit, alright. Opponent attacks for 3. We will take that, go to 16. Let's see, Experimental Frenzy. Oh, another land, wow. That's a lot of lands. That's a lot of lands for how little we're playing. We're gonna pass. Opponent tracks a Polluted Delta. Gets a Hallowed Fountain. Opponent attacks for 3. We'll take it, go to 13. Oh my god, another land. That's so many. That's so many lands. We'll pass. That's nine lands for what? One, two, three, four, five, six non lands? And a deck with only 20 lands to 40 non lands? And the, it's, it's an uncommon ratio, not good. Shrapnel Blast. Yeah, uh, you know, okay. Uh, we can sacrifice the Darksteel Citadels, so that's fine. We have plenty of those. So we'll probably try to blow up the Supreme Phantom. Spell Queller, yeah, let's just do it now. They can sacrifice the Selfless Spirit, but. We'll sacrifice a, uh, a Darksteel Citadel. We'll blow up the Supreme Phantom. They will probably sacrifice the Selfless Spirit to give it indestructible. Or do they just have another Spell Queller? Wow. Double Spell Queller. Okay. Okay, that's, that's nice. I think we just concede at this point. I don't think this is winnable. Oh, and I guess if we drew, sp uh, yeah. No, land. Land. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Whip Blair, okay. Well, that's a lot of lands. That's so many lands. Okay, well, I guess that happens sometimes. We're gonna bring in the third Experimental Frenzy. I just, I want it. It's really good. What do we take out? Probably a Shrapnel Blast is fine. That's probably fine. Alright, game three. We are going to be on the play for sure. We do have Experimental Frenzy. That's really good. So we're gonna keep this for sure. And, uh, hand's pretty decent. We have three lands. We need, a uh, we need a fourth one, but pretty happy with this. Double Ornithopter and Steel Overseer also pretty good. So we will play Ornithopter. Play Ornithopter. Play a land. And we will pass. Opponent plays an island and passes. We draw a fourth land. Fantastic. We can, uh, Experimental Frenzy. So this is gonna be pretty good. Pretty good. Play Steel Overseer. Pass the turn. Put a pl Oh, no. That turns off our land, too. That turns off Darksteel Citadel. We don't have four lands. Ugh. All right. Well, attack for one, I guess. Ugh, Darksteel Citadel. How could you do this to me? That's such a bummer. We don't have four lands because of Darksteel Citadel. So we can't even, ex Supreme Phantom, we can't even Experimental Frenzy next turn. So sad. Let's just uh, blow that up. We're gonna play Interactive and try to stall. We're stalling, we're stalling. Oh, uh, we're stalling until we get the Experimental Frenzy. That's not a land, that's a Cranial Plating, which I can't activate. So, I guess we attack for one, and we're gonna pass. After the opponent goes to 18. Dang. After being flooded last game, I'm just praying for a land. Please, I need a land. Drog Skull Captain, that's pretty good. All right, all we need is land. That's not, that's not, nope. Well, we will play Signal Pest, and we will pass. Can't even attack for one now. Opponent passes. We draw Lightning Bolt. Well, I think we're just gonna pass. We'll hold up Lightning Bolt, because they could just have a, a Witcherma thingy spell queller. So, opponent goes to 15. Selfless Spirit, yep, that's, that's good enough. We will blow up the captain, provided this resolves, which, nope. Rattle Chains. It's gonna give it Hexproof. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's fine. All we need is a land. Just one land. That's all I need. Opponent attacks for two, so we will go to 18. Let's see that land. Ornithopter is not a land. Come on. I just need one. I want to play Experimental Frenzy so bad. Let's just play Cranial Plating. I don't even know why. We're just gonna play it because I feel like it. 
maybe, you know, just in case we do hit, I guess, a, uh, a master of Ethereum. I guess it, you know, it counts as an artifact, so that's fine. Uh, opponent is going to attack with everything. We're gonna go to 10. We could block. Let's block one. Try to preserve our life total a little bit. We go to 13. Uh, that's not a land. It's Galvanic Blast. I mean, it's pretty decent, but it's not a land. All right. So at least we can blow up one of their attackers next turn. I guess it doesn't hurt to attack for- Oh, I, I guess we could have. We could have attacked with the Signal Pest too, right? Could have attacked for two. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. Um, let's just blow up the the captain. Probably they're going to sacrifice the Selfless Spirit. Or they're going to Spell Queller. That, that's another option. Or they play another Selfless Spirit. Okay. Well, sure. And they sacrificed that one. Or no, they sacrificed the first one. Oh, okay, sure. Well, either way. Uh, put a kills and steal Overseer. Right. And pass. So opponent has 10 damage in the air. If they attack all out. Which they do... Oh wait, let's see. Nope, they do not. Um, I think we block one. Just try to stay alive. But this is looking pretty bad. Draw cranial plating. God oh, dang it. Alright, well, concede. Ugh, that's so disappointing. <laughs> were we drawing a land? Of course we were. Well, that's a bummer. I mean, we saw it in the first game. We saw Experimental Frenzy and what it does. Unfortunately, we got Mana Flooded in Game 2 and then Stony Silenced with a Darksteel Citadel in Game 3. So that's that's disappointing. I mean, we saw the potential there, though. We saw Experimental Frenzy do what it does. It's kind of fantastic. It won us a game that we absolutely for sure should have lost. We should have just O2'd this deck. We should not have beaten it the first game. So it's nice. It's really nice. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, you know, Stony Silence still kind of gets us, so that's a bummer. But, nevertheless, I think we saw the potential there. And with less Stony Silences and maybe a little bit less Mana Flood, we can do better in our future games. Because we do have five more games, or we have four more games with us. We're going to be playing five games total. So if you want to see more Experimental Frenzy craziness, just check the description below. There should be a playlist, and I will see you in the second match.